Five Roses blends only the top two leaves of the finest Ceylon teas. Because nobody makes better tea than you and Five Roses. Welcome back to Afternoon Express. Now, I've got to tell you, Danila, you've had quite an experience recently. You've got to share it with me, please. Oh, I'm going to share that with you. But can I first just say that it's nice to have a lady who's a little bit shorter than I am on live television. I'm used to having the ladies in the heels up here. Mm. So this feels rather good. I'll do this one, <laughs> don't we? So now, guys, I do have an incredible story to share with you. We often take for granted how easy life can be with the full use of our mobile body, not appreciating the difficulties mm. those less fortunate than us go through every single day. Day. Now, recently in Cape Town, I spent a day in a wheelchair to experience what it's like being unable to have the full use of my legs. Mm. It is fascinating. Take a look. And I've been asked if I would try and see what happens if I spent a day in a wheelchair doing the same things I would normally. I think I'm most concerned about the little things, the things that I would take for granted usually having both of my legs. It's all beginning immediately from the get-go. Trying to get out of bed is the hardest thing to do. It's all about arm strength. I'm trying to get across to the actual seat itself and make sure my legs get there too. Um, it's, it's tough work. I can't start my day without a cup of coffee. And I've realized how far things are from the counter because you can't drive your wheelchair to the edge because then it's too far for you to reach. You've almost got to go around, turn sideways, reverse back in, and then try and get everything in a place where you can reach it from, from your chair itself. You can't just be reaching across tables and things. So this is tough, man. My car has got a slightly raised platform, so it's higher than the actual wheelchair is. And so I'm trying to see if I can get my hands across to the chair because you've almost got to make one big fluid motion to almost jump across into the car. So it's, it's quite a process. First stop for the day is to head off to Savas Hair to get my locks chopped and get them styled. And luckily, they are on the ground floor, so hoping to see what the process is like around washing hair, moving you into the sort of seats and the basins themselves, I'm sure it should be pretty simple. So now it's time to head to the gym. Uh, my trainer, Dan, trains me four days a week. Um, and he loves to go through a full body routine. And obviously being in a wheelchair, mostly you can only do from sort of chest upwards. And so we're going to attempt a arms day today. What a mission, what a mission. I'm so used to coming to gym every single day, but now I'm having to find new entrances, get up onto curbs, put clothes on. It really is tough work, man. Yuck. Luckily for me, my gym has got uh, more than one route in. I've never actually used the lift, which is kind of an inconvenience because you have to go around the building to the other side, go through almost like a security check-in, get to the lift itself, and like pressing the button for the lift and getting in and trying to reach the buttons it's not as easy as I thought it was going to be, but I'm glad there is an entrance to get into the gym at least. Gym is actually quite hard. Um, I'm finding it's tough to, first of all, remember to lock my brakes when I'm in the wheelchair, uh, particularly while I'm trying to, you know, lift things and move things around. Your, your chair moves with you. Um, and I think while I'm also standing trying to do arms day, usually I can let my body, you know, help me balance. But now it's just purely focused on that muscle group. So actually, I'm probably working harder in the gym now than I ever did. <laughs> My arms are on fire, my shoulders are burning, my back is sweating from sitting on the chair the entire time. Not a very comfortable experience. I really take for granted the amount of support you need from, from people in the public when it comes to being in a wheelchair. And simple things like trying to cross a road. Um, if there's nobody to push you and make you sure you're going in the right direction, you could get very easily veered into traffic. Trying to get upstairs, I'm having to ask people for their help and support just to get up a set of stairs. Um, and so it must be very self-conscious. I'm feeling self-conscious. Off I go to meet a real legend who has spent more than just a day in a wheelchair, Marta Liesbrunk. Uh, she's very well known in the media world, particularly in the Afrikaans scene from her radio show. Um, and I'm excited to find out what the day-to-day -day process of being in a wheelchair is like. She's got a lot of wisdom to share. Um, and I've heard that her story is pretty awesome. Marlies, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to, to chat to us. I really must say that I took today for granted. I, it really is so much work to be sitting in a chair for, for the entire day, all those struggles. How did you end up in a wheelchair and how long have you been in your chair for? I think it's been 23, 24 years. I kind of lose count. 
I don't think it's important to keep a, a count of that, but I woke up one morning, I was 13 years old, felt slightly strange, and my mother said, stay at home. They think it was in the end um, either virus or inflammation in my spinal cord, but they're guessing inflammation. I, after a couple of hours, the muscles from my middle down had just gone. I got some of it back and feeling and everything, but yeah, it's not strong enough to walk on. So that's the short version for you. What does your daily routine look like? Daily routine, I think, is pretty much the same as everybody else's. It probably does take me slightly longer, shave my legs, maybe, <laughs> that kind of thing. But um, yeah, I think you just adjust your day according to it and you get used to it. Have there been any frustrations along the way? You spoke about up ramps on, on pavements. If there is one, then you're lucky. So certain places there are uh, up ramps, other places there aren't. And Seapoint, for example, on the one side of the road, there isn't always up ramps, the other side there is, and you've got to walk an extra 500 meters just to go find a place to get down. Um, I find restaurants a, a big struggle. If you go to Camps, Camps Bay, there's not a single restaurant in Camps Bay that I can go to that you can use the toilet. Never mind getting into most of them that have steps. Uh, one specific restaurant went and changed their restaurant and took out the ramp and put in steps. Um, so it's a, those things are frustrating and you need to find a balance between being difficult about, about it and being someone who wants to collaborate with people to make things better. Speaking about people, I find myself being very self-conscious in the chair. Have people been compassionate towards you or, or completely hostile? People help a lot. Uh, I, I, I don't know how to say thank you to the public for the amount of times I'm getting to my car and someone says, can I help you? Uh, it happens so much. So you're going up a steep gradient and someone says, can I help you? Um, and I'm like, no, but I'm here because I want to do the exercise. So I know I'm struggling. I'm just getting there slower than you are. But um, no, I need to say thank you to the public for that. But yeah, if, if, um, if I think the corporate, the architecture uh, side of things, if they can come onto board with the regulations, then you're going to solve so many issues. I have a whole new respect for, for people in wheelchairs. I think it's the day-to-day -day things that I took for granted that I'm now starting to see are some of the biggest struggles. And I think I must just remember every day that having both of my legs and my full mobility is an absolute blessing and it can disappear like this. How much respect are we as South Africans gonna to show to those who are in wheelchairs now that I know what it feels like? Hmm. A day in the wheelchair, Danilo, that was absolutely interesting. And I've got to tell you, too many times, like we saw in your video, we do take for granted what our bodies can do. And for me, what it's done is definitely helped me appreciate and show some respect to my body. Mm. Definitely. And to appreciate is a blessing. I think that's mm. the biggest thing. And like you said earlier on, Nikki, I think everyone has their own disabilities. Some mm -hmm. people's might be emotional. Some people's might be expressed physically. And we all have our disabilities. And it's important for all of us to learn compassion. Yeah. Yes, for sure. Sure. Guys, inspiring show today. I'm really, really impressed by the fact that you guys are so willing to come out and yeah. just be creative and do crazy cool things with your lives. It really is exciting to see. Continue to inspire the rest of South Africans because, like I said mm -hmm. in that little insert, it can happen like this, you know. Who, who says one day that you might not be physically disabled and how are you going to respond to it then? It's a blessing now, but in the future. Yeah. And I've got to tell you, ladies, you look absolutely gorgeous. I love that you've taken your life. You've made it sparkle. And you've shown other ladies out there, whether with a disability or even able bodies, that it is okay to make yourself look glamorous, to help yourself feel good, because in that way, you live that kind of life. So I thank you so much. I've had fun in studio. And this is why we have you with us on the show today. Yes. I feel like I'm cheating on the other girls of the love, so I'm not going to say any more, just to tell you to make sure you join us again tomorrow for Afternoon Express. And tune in early, because during the first 15 minutes of the show, we're putting a spin on the festive classic with a ginger spiced berry mm. trifle. It should be absolutely delicious. I'm going to let you do the sign out, since oh, it's your first time guest presenting on our show. Well, good evening and happy eating, everybody. Good night, South Africa. Bye-bye.